Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello, my name is Stephen George, and I play video games. And today, I'm going to be starting a game called Fallout 4. Now before I get too far into this, let me say a, a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of the producers that we have over on Patreon.com. Their names are scrolling up on the right side of the screen now. Thank you all so, so much. And for everyone that supports us over on Patreon, thank you. If you're watching right now and you'd like to learn more about how you can support Mallory and myself using Patreon, and of course the perks that come along with that, click the card at the top of the screen now, or check out the link in the video description below. So Fallout 4, it's finally here. And it means a lot to a lot of people. Obviously me, but many of you as well. But it means a extra special thing to me. It means a big project. As some of you know, back in 2011, Skyrim came out. And I had a day one Let's Play of Skyrim that debuted, along with plenty of other people. But as time went on, many people stopped doing Skyrim. I did not. And I continued to play Skyrim. Day in, day out. For weeks. For months. For years. And I did a 100% Let's Play of Skyrim here on Steven Place. But that wasn't it. I recorded these episodes one at a time. None of them were pre-recorded. Which means that every single episode, the commenters had a chance to interact. To tell me things that they had seen themselves. Places that I could go. Things that I could try. I'm here to tell you that Fallout 4 is going to be the exact same way. As I start Fallout 4 today, I'm going to be recording these one at a time. You'll be able to comment and tell me things that you've found, things that you'd like me to go explore and see. And I look forward to seeing what we can discover together. Without further ado, let's get started on Steven Plays Fallout 4. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing.
is that war... War never changes. Man. That, uh... That was a powerful start. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. And now I guess it is time for us to create the character who will be starring in this Let's Play of Fallout 4. This should just take a second. Sometime later, um, taking up more time than I thought it would take, uh, we have created the character. This is the character that I will be using uh, for the duration of the Let's Play. I would like you to take a moment to get to know him, because we're going to be using him a lot. I have also taken the liberty of altering the wife as well, although we will not be playing uh, as her. Without further ado, I think that we should be done. You ready to step away from that mirror, buddy? Seems like a good idea. Confirm character. So as we step away from the mirror, um, it appears that we get our, our first chance to actually control the game, which is kind of a big deal. And I can move around. Hello, how are you? Hey, hon. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? And it also appears uh, that my wife's name is Nora. Now, it should be noted that this Let's Play is going to be blind. It's probably pretty obvious the game just came out. Um, but it's going to be blind, and I, I would like to keep it blind. Please do not spoil me to any story stuff. Um, I have not looked up anything about the story online because I want to keep it fresh. Uh, the only thing I have looked up online is some mechanic stuff. I'm interested to see how the game works and uh, some things like that. With that in mind, I've already picked out what my stats are. Uh, are going to be, at least to start the game off. But please, don't spoil me, or I will be very upset. Uh, okay, so as we look around, is there stuff that we can interact with in here? We've got a toilet, as one would expect to have in a restroom. I got a brush. Uh, we have a shower. Oh man, check out that, that next-gen water droplet action. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it's, it's dripping. We can't touch it. That's even on the inside of the curtain, that's cool. Um... We can close doors and open doors. Which is essential to survive the, the harsh fallout landscape. Uh, as we walk in here, we have the incredible multi-talented Mr. Handy. Uh, so apparently our robot came in a box. What else is in here? A Braxo for all your cleaning needs. Cleans anything. That's why we have two. Uh, washer. Another fine product of General Atomics International. And, of course, a dryer. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. It's interesting having the... the character be voiced. This is the first time in a Fallout game where the main character is voiced. And... it is a different feeling, and some people like it, and some people don't. Um... I, I really don't have a, a firm opinion on it, to be honest. Um, I'm just excited to play another Fallout game. I think the game is going to be fantastic. And if the character is voiced and they needed to do that to achieve that, then um, you know, we'll see what happens. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? So this is my child's room. Sean. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You doing okay? You want me to spin this thing for you? Better? Alright, now let's take a look here. Oh man, the special book! Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. I'm not sure, but it will probably be special. Aww. <laughs> to think, one day he's gonna learn how to drive. I mean, hopefully. 
But also the bombs may fall and we may all die, so I guess we shouldn't prepare too far ahead. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. Oh, a baseball. Should get this signed next time we're at the park. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. We've also got toy blocks. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Let's see, what else we got in here? Can we interact with the thermostat? <laughs> we can't make it 100 degrees? Ah, shucks. Uh, let's go in here. Um, blast radius. Which looks fantastic. It says, don't be board games company. You get it? Because, because board, board games? Never mind. Uh, I think we're done in here. Let's walk through... Is there anything in this closet? Doesn't seem to be anything we can interact with. Uh, as we walk into our bedroom, there's a lamp, there's a book, and there's a radio that I suppose we can probably... Yep, turn off. We have a watch. Ah, broken again. And a flag. Good old USA. And a camera. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. I find it a little funny that technology really took off. And, like, we have robot butlers. But we couldn't quite figure out digital photography. So we don't have digital cameras. But, eh, we're, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We have another chair, which I think we figured out. Man, look at that view. I mean, not that this particular view is actually that compelling for a house. But in a video game for Fallout 4, I'm really excited by this. Uh, let's see. I'm in here. A sweater vest? Yes, please. No need to get dressed twice. Oh man, but the sweater vest. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. Guess we don't need this open. So we can jump, which is exciting. Um, is there anything up here? No. Can we crouch? Not that I actually know what how, how to crouch. But I figured I'd, I would try. Let's go out here. Uh, is there anything... Anything in here? Instamash. Fancy lad snack cakes. Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in... Never. Doesn't seem to be anything else in there. My robot. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. To perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Cool. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Kazuwe. Of course, sir. Let's see here. It may not look like it, but I swear I just drank some of that coffee. We've also got a Grognak comic, which is a throwback to some of the other Fallout games. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Let's see what else we have around here. <laughs> sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Ah, sounds like someone made a stinky. I shall attend to young Sean. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Let's see. What the, oh, we got milk. Looks like the milk got delivered. Must interact with all things. We have a Vault Tech calendar something over here. And it looks like we have some notes on the fridge as well. Nuka-Cola. Nuka-Cola. Ice cold. Another milk. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. <laughs> Food grades. Baby bottle. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? And a sink. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Salesman? But I'm... <laughs> but dear, I'm trying to interact with everything in our kitchen. If I don't touch this toaster, I swear to God I'll die. Uh, is there anything else in here to actually look at? Um... Oh, the newspaper. Hmm. More the same. So basically depressing news. Bourbon? It's a little early to be drinking. Come on, Nonsense. Just answer the door and he'll go away. Okay, okay, okay. Get some stools. Cigarettes. Now who left those here? Anything else in here? The TV. 
Holotape player. Oh, it's just another radio, I see. What was that? Holotape? Bunch of our old holotape recordings. You know he's not gonna give up. Okay, okay. Alright, I'll answer the door. You know how I hate answering doors. Law diploma. I'm so proud of her. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm learning more about my own family, which <laughs> is a thing that you might want to know about. Can't open that, but I can open this. Good morning! vault -Tech calling! Uh... vault -Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir. And helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh... I'm here now. So you are. So you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Um... But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Um. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Here we are. I was wondering when this was going to pop up. Um, I feel like many of you have probably been very anxious to find out this info. Probably anxious to find out, um, you know, what the character looks like. You know, who the character I'm going to be playing. Because this is a big deal. Especially for anyone who is familiar with our Skyrim Let's Play. Um, Skyrim went on for nearly 300 episodes. We played Skyrim uh, for a little over two and a half years, I believe. So, we're going to be doing Fallout 4 for a long time. People want to know, what is this character's name? What is he about? And I'm here to announce that his name... Is grit Jones this is a name that I've thought about for a long time and I've I've taken uh, some other people's advice and opinions from from my wife to my friends and and thrown out ideas at them and, and tried to come up with something that I really liked and I thought would reflect the kind of character that I wanted to create and uh, this is a big deal because, I mean, people become attached to the name. For example, Argyle. People are very familiar with Argyle and Feindel and Little Breckfleck from the Skyrim Let's Play. And as we move into Fallout 4, it's important to create uh, a name that people are going to uh, know and come to appreciate. And that name will be Grit Jones. Now, I've also taken the liberty of figuring out exactly how I want to build him, at least initially. His strength is going to be 1. Perception is going to be 5. Endurance, 1. Charisma, 9. Intelligence, 4. Agility, 7. And luck, 1. If you want to know what these stats mean, strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. Perception is your environment, environmental awareness and sixth sense. It also affects your weapon accuracy and VATS. The endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and the action point drain from sprinting. Charisma is your ability to charm and convince others. It affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you barter. Your intelligence is a measure of your overall mental uh, acuity and affects the number of experience ports, points earned. And agility is a measure of your overall finesse and reflexes. It affects the number of uh, action points and bats and your ability to sneak. And of luck is, of course, general good fortune and also the recharge rate of critical hits. Uh, it's taken me a long time to come up with these numbers. I've went back and forth on the drawing board for a long time, but it's important to note that this is not in stone. As the game progresses and you level up, 
If you can actually adjust these numbers, you can add more points to them, which is something I plan on doing with our buddy Grit Jones here. Um, so this is just kind of the starting point. High charisma is very important for me because I want additional dialogue options. Uh, high agility also means a lot to me because we have access to some of these sneak perks that I plan on using. Uh, I have a very specific character in mind, but also because the Let's Play is going to be going so long, we should have time to build into a lot of different uh, character builds and try a lot of different things out. In other words, I'm really freaking excited to play this game. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Let's see, was there other things I needed to touch? Mr. Jones, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. All right. Hey, hey, buddy. I almost walked into my uh, my utility room because I don't know the layout of my own home. Hi, bud. You doing okay in here? How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Sure. Here you go, pal. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Um, also, what? Why's the door shut? <laughs> Did you shut the door on your way in? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We... we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Well, suddenly, this vault thing became a lot more important. Codsworth. Codsworth. Stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Oh, my. Sorry, Codsworth. You can't come with us. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. I should really not take this time to walk around, but doggone it, I'm so curious to see all of the stuff they- Oh, they put so much detail. Oh, I can run. Fantastic, I can run. That's important. Excuse me, ma'am, I couldn't help but- Hey. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I should- I should definitely treat this more serious, but... Doggone it, I'm really impressed. You have to understand, Fallout games don't look like this. They never look like this, they're always really bleak and this has got a lot of color I'm just gonna stick with Nora I'm right here go go all right let's go we got our son I got my wife cheese man oh yeah I can also play in third person. I'm sorry. Hunt! Are you registered? We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you! You two, follow me! Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? doing everything we can! Now keep moving! I think we both know what's gonna happen to those people outside the gate. Come on, Nora. 
Jeez, man. Step on the platform in the center. I'm going, man. I'm going. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Oh my Hold god. On! Holy crap. That was intense. Like, for being, like, sunshiny 1950s fun time, like, that was really intense and the, the hair stood up on the back of my neck. Jeez, man, jeez. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please, step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we'd no. all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Did you... <laughs> I think Mrs. Whitfield just butt-bounced Nora. That was a little odd. We made it. We did. Um, alright, let's go. Please, keep moving. What? what what's going on? We, we just need a minute. I understand. Hi. Hey there. Up the stairs. It, okay, um, and you? Hey. Just head up the stairs. We'll take care of everything. Okay. Up the stairs, please. Sorry, we're a little shaken up. Jesus Christ, the bomb just exploded, man. Right over there, boys. Good. Hi. Over there. Take a suit. Just step over the table. Now just head down the hall. Looks fine. Everything, everything good? Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. Uh, I'm not sure why we would have to wear these. It's uh, down the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Uh, sure. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. And not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? Jeez. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items are all to get them first. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Hmm. Hey, just vault step into here, here for and you. put your vault just to follow home. your guide. I'm hey, sorry. Just step into the chamber. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? The chamber? Honey, could you help me? Um. Yeah. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Jeez, man. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your boots. Here goes something, man. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one.
What happened? This is the one. Here. Open it. Okay, you have a gun, and that is never good. God. That's a dark way to start this adventure. While the ending to the first episode of Fallout 4 was certainly dark, um, there is some good news in all of this. Fallout 4 is going to be getting the five-day weekend treatment, and what that means is, to celebrate the launch of this new Let's Play, we're going to be releasing five videos of it in a row, one each day for five days. So tune in for the next four days here on Steven Plays at 4 p.m. Eastern, and you can catch a brand new episode of Fallout 4. Now, that does mean that these first five are going to be pre-recorded, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal because a lot of the early game of Fallout's just going to be a little bit of exploration, uh, maybe getting some early supplies to help us, and uh, not too much should happen. Uh, out Now, after that point, uh, starting on episode six, we will be looking at all of your comments and recording them one at a time, just like we did in Skyrim, but I just thought you guys should know. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4, and you'll be able to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern to catch the continuation. Now, one final thing that I really wanted to throw out because it's, uh, it's a big deal, something that's important to me and I think would be a lot of fun. When we did Skyrim, there was a lot of fan interaction, uh, not only from the video, but from the art community. People loved making fan art of Argyle and Pals and all of his crazy adventures. I want more of that. I'd love to see the fan art community create imagery of Grit Jones and his companions and his crazy adventures. So starting tomorrow, for the end slate of every single Fallout 4 video, we are going to be showing off a piece of your fan art. All you have to do is create a piece of fan art that has something to do with the Let's Play. Now keep in mind, that means not generic Fallout 4 art. It has to be something very specific to this Let's Play of Fallout 4. And you need to post it on either Twitter or Tumblr with the hashtag Grit Jones. And uh, if you do that, we will use your art, uh, potentially, to end an episode of Fallout 4. Now, this is going to be ongoing, so if at any point you feel inspired by an event that happened uh, in an episode, make art. Make art and post it on Tumblr or Twitter, and uh, use the hashtag uh, Grit Jones. And uh, we're going to be collecting all of the art posted in that way, and using that... Um, in the episodes. So it should be really, really exciting. I think that's a really great way to um, bring together the artists. Uh, now keep in mind, it should be pretty obvious, but you have to create the work yourself. You cannot uh, take art from anywhere else. You also cannot take it pre-existing art and, uh, and alter it if you did not create it. That's a no-no, but if you can create something from scratch that is not just generic Fallout 4 and has something to do with the Let's Play, that is awesome post it on Twitter or Tumblr with the hashtag Grit Jones, and uh, we'll grab it up, and you may see it used in a future episode of Fallout 4. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another exciting episode of Fallout 4.